Okay, this presentation will be focusing on the art of essay writing. Now I've broken it down into five stages here and we're going to start with planning. And the first stage is, is understanding your question. So to make something that you're going to be passionate about, that you can easily flow and you can get into depth, it's quite important to find something that you're genuinely interested in. And if you understand the subject, you can then understand your question a lot better. And if, if it's a subject that you're not particularly interested in, then you need to be a bit more learned in it and read around that subject. Measure your words and distribute them properly. So if it's a 2,000 word report or essay or something along those lines, then in this term, in this case it's an essay, then it would be fair to distribute 150 words for the introduction, 150 for the conclusion and the rest for the main body of work and that would be a sensible distribution of words for your assignment. Place context roughly to begin draft. So by that it would mean that you don't need to make valid points but you can just say this is where I argue against CSR in this bit and then this is going to be about strategy in this section and that's all you need to put and then that will help with the distribution of words as well and you know where you are so you don't go in depth on too much of one thing because that might be one learning outcome that you've uh, dominated on leaving you no room for the other learning outcomes. Okay so now we're going to the introduction which roughly around 150 words and here you want to know your question. We've researched it here, now we need to import it straight into your introduction, clarify your question. So it's okay you knowing it, you need to get the reader to understand it. You need to look at the reader and let them, you need to see them as someone that knows nothing about the subject. You can explain it clearly to them and then the rest of it might make sense to them. So clarify the question, clarify the argument. So tell them roughly about the um, subject, the question, and then clarify how you're going to argue that, uh, your case. And then touch upon the subject. So if it's going to be about a business, you're going to apply this thing to a business, you need to talk about the business. Maybe that, you know, not too much, don't take too much word count of the 150, just so it's relevant and they know what they're talking about, they're, they're looking at. The main body of work is where most of your word count, or all, most of your word count is going to be. This is where you're going to de develop your key points in your arguments, ensuring that anything that you put in here is touched on upon your introduction. And um, you need to talk about strategy, argue and discuss. Maybe in those orders, but you need to make sure that's in. And examples. Many people focus too much on strategy, too much on theory, and too much on maybe their own examples of how they live, if it's in first person, if you can do it in first person, but they fail to look upon examples that are already in the business context, in the organisational world, that, that could benefit them hugely um, and even support their argument even further. Okay, to conclude, in this conclusion, it should relate pretty much straight to your introduction in a way that what's mentioned in your introduction should be directly in your conclusion all that's different in your conclusion is you can mention the argument and the result or if there even is a result you might you might agree to disagree and agree that it's too difficult to discuss there is no one answer but that whatever you mention in here cannot be new knowledge it can't be not mentioned in here or here the final stage is proofreading. When you're getting right up to that deadline, it'd be quite easy just to leave that and think, okay, well, I've checked it, spell checks, not bringing up any errors, I should be good to go. That's wrong. Get someone else to read it, peer review. Before you submit it, get two or three people to peer review it. Get sensible people that maybe aim higher than you even, you can do that. Find them, get them to peer review your work, and then you can, you can get um, good feedback on the, on your assignment and essentials. Make sure your name's on there, if you're allowed your name on there. If you're not, make sure your name's not on there, obviously. Student, um, ID, cover page, word count, stuff like that. Even when you're submitting your document, make sure the actual icon has the relevant things on it. And that pretty much wraps up 
the art of essay writing. Thank you.